We've got question two now of our exam paper, uh, which is from Smart Designs, uh, Smart Designs Limited, manufactures cocktail machines used in restaurants. The budget committee of the company has provided the estimated data for the April and May 2017. So there it is there, they've given us sales, inventory and operating expenses. Uh, we're also given the following additional information. It says that 35% of my sales are cash and the remaining 65% are credit sales. And of that credit sales, it's saying that 30% is collected in the month of sale, 40% is collected in the month after sale, 28% is collected two months after sale, and we've got a 2% loss in bad debts. It's also given me sales figures for the month of February and March, which are 11,000 and 10,000 respectively. Inventory purchases that are on credit and to be paid for in the month following the purchase. Operating expenses include depreciation of 900 for each month and are to be paid in the same month they are incurred. The firm expected to sell uh, some old machinery for 7,000, so sell some old machinery for 7,000, and they're going to purchase some new machinery. Uh, for 20,000, both of those things happening in May. My cash balance of the 1st of April is 8,100. And the first thing it asks me to do is prepare a schedule of receipts from debtors showing collections for the two months of April and May 2017. Okay, so what we've been given is a lot of information. And um, we're aiming now to uh, show what our cash, collect our cash sales and our credit sales come out to. So let's do that bit first. All right, I'm just going to zoom out a fraction here so we get a little bit more on paper. So, um, cash collections. All right, so what have we got? We've been given some information for February, March, April and May. So that's going to be my um, sales. So for February, March, April, and May. And the, those are 11,000, 10,000, 13,000, and 14,000. Now it's saying that um, we've got 35% is, uh, or 65% is my credit sales, because we've got, we were looking at what is our credit sales. So um, let's calculate credit sales. And my credit sales are 65% of all those uh, amounts there. So 11,000 times 0.65. <coughs> equals 7,150. Uh, that's 6,500, that's a nice easy one. I should just put up here 65 percent is my credit sales. 13,000 times 0 0.65 equals 8,450. And 14 times 0 0.65 equals 9,100. Alright, so that's how, um, that's how much of these sales are going to be credit sales. Now I've got to work out what my collections, because we, we've been asked to show collections for the two months, April and May 2017. So what I'm going to now do is I'm going to have um, April and May as my collections. Just draw a line here, and this is called collections. Now, as it says over here, 30% uh, is in the month of sale. So if I'm selling it in February, I'm collecting 30% in February. That must mean of February sales, that's this amount here, I'm collecting 40% in the month after sale, so that'd be in March, and 28% in the month, two months after sale, which would be April. So I'm just going to put a little 28% up here in the corner, just to remind myself, geez, you really can't see this, just to remind myself what's going on. All right, now it says, uh, so I'm selling it in March. It says I collect 30% of that in March, 
40% of that in the month after sale, which is in April, so 40% there, and 28% in two months following sale, so that's 28% in May. I'm selling it in April, I'm collecting 30% in the month of sale, so I'm collecting 30% in that uh, April month, and I'm collecting 40% uh, in the month of May. And I'm selling it in May, I'm collecting 30% in May, because we're only doing April and May, that's all I have to worry about here. And now I'm going to multiply these figures here out by these percentages to see how we go. So I've got 7,150 times 0.28 equals 2,002. Uh, I got 6,500 times 0 0.4 equals 2,600. I've got uh, 6,500 times 28% equals 1,820. Uh, I've got 0 0.3 times 8,450 equals 2,335 uh, 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 times 8,450 gives me 3,380 and my last one which is 9,100 times 0 0.3 equals 2,730 so now I'm going to total my collections because it's asked me for that. So I've got 2730, let's just add that one in. 3380 plus 1820 gives me 7930. And I've got 2535 plus 2600 plus 2002 equals 7137. And I'm going to put in here my cash sales. Now my cash sales are 35% of these two amounts, as it says here, 35% of cash sales. So I need to just go now for April. How much did I sell? I sold 13,000 times 0 0.35 gives me 4,550. And I've got 14,000 times 0.35 gives me 4,900. Uh, so what do we get as totals? Uh, plus 7930, 12, 7137 plus 4 equals 11,687.. All right, so that's done my collections bit. So I've got that first bit done. Now the next bit is prepare a cash budget for Smart Limited for the two months, April and May 2017. So let's start preparing a cash budget. So my cash budget, once again, when you're preparing any sort of thing, for Smart Limited, Uh, for two months, ending uh, May 2017. And the first thing I put in my cash budget is my receipts. And my receipts, firstly, it'll be my um, Collections from customers. Uh, I should actually call that collections from debtors. Let's put in April here and May. April and May. Now my collections from my debtors was seven thousand one hundred and thirty-seven and seven thousand nine hundred and thirty. 
cash sales was 4,550 and 4,900. Uh, did I have any other receipts come in? Um, okay, so we've done that. We've done oh, we've done that, that, that. Inventory operating, no, that's expenses. Oh, here we go, sales, some old machinery in May. So that old machinery I'm going to sell in May. That's for $7,000. I'm going to collect some uh, proceeds of machinery sale. And it was $7,000 in May. Uh, nope, there was nothing else. So now I can total my receipts. 11687 And this one is 19830 And now I can look at my payments. So my payments, first I'm going to put in my, um, let's go from the top here, so my inventory purchases, there was a note down here, ticked off sales, inventory purchases are on credit and to be paid for in the month following the purchase. So I've got 9400 that's in April, I'll be paying for it in May, let's pop that in. Inventory, what did I say it was, 9400 was there any other inventory notes? No. Okay. So I've got inventory. Then I've got operating expenses. So my operating expenses. Now it told me that there's $900 of depreciation in each month. So I need to deduct 900 from here which will give me 2,700 and 900 from here gives me 5,500 so my operating expenses are those two figures there 2,700 and 5,500 2,700 and 5,500 um, have we got anything else? Oh, we've got the purchase of new machinery. So I've ticked off my inventories on operating. Operating expenses, that gives me that. So the new machinery is the purchase. So I've purchased new machinery, $20,000, and that's in May. So I've got my machinery, and that was all, that was it. Let's just have a quick scan. Firm expects to say the cash balance. I'll need to use that piece of information now. Alright, so let's have a look. So my cash payments are 2700 And what have we got there? We've got uh, 34900 So net cash flow. So my net cash flow will be my cash inflow less my cash outflow and what does that give me 700 that gives me 8987 and what have we got here we've got 19,380 34,000 so we've got uh, ooh, we've got uh, 15,070 and I'm going to bracket that figure because this is actually a cash outflow here so cash at beginning Now my cash at the start, it told me that my cash balance was $8,100 on the 1st of April 2017. So $8,100 and that'll give me my cash at the end. So does that give me $17,087? Oh no, hang on it, 087. Which becomes the opening balance here, seventeen zero eighty seven. Uh, the difference between these two is two oh one seven, and it's a positive cash flow. So I can say, sit there and go, "There's my cash flow statement." Oops, the period. All 
Okay, now, that can tick off that question. And it says, would you recommend Smart Limited purchase the new machinery in May 2017? Briefly explain your reasons. Well, if we look at it, they have purchased the machinery here. Um, would you recommend they purchase it? Yes. As we have a positive cash balance. at the end of May. And that'll be it.